everybody. Writing is hard, and sometimes you need all the help you can get. There are a ton of writing resources floating around the internet. A lot are hella expensive, and many of them are pretty much worthless. They ain't helping you with shit. Because of this, I am listing 10 of my favorite cheap resources for writers. Everything on this list is cheap, most of them are less than 10 bucks, and over half of them are free. And just to keep things as simple as possible, I will be listing them from cheapest to most expensive. You're welcome. A quick announcement, if things seem a little chaotic lately, that is because Cliff and I are officially moving to our dream house. We have been dying to move for a long time. We've had a good run in this house, but honestly, we have outgrown it. It's not disability friendly. It's not super conducive for our growing business. So we are so, so excited for this transition. The new house is beautiful and I cannot wait to move in. We have officially started the moving process, so I just wanted to let you guys know, just in case I miss a few videos here or there, or if my videos start to look different in a few weeks. You know why. While you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. I post new videos on Wednesdays. They are a delight. You should totally subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. How dare you? How dare you wait? Come on, I'm counting on you. And be sure to check out my number one best-selling dark fantasy romance series, The Savior Series, featuring The Savior's Champion and The Savior's Sister. They're available in ebook, paperback, hardback, and audiobook all over the place. I got them linked below. Check them out before the sequel comes out. On to 10 of my favorite free and cheap writing resources. You may recognize some of them because I've talked about them in the past and that's because they're fucking awesome and I love them and they work. A few disclaimers, these resources are for the writing process itself, not for marketing or publishing. If you'd like me to cover marketing and publishing resources in the future, please sound off in the comments. I would be happy to do so. This video is also not sponsored by any of the companies or products I am about to list. However, I do have affiliate links for a few of these companies or products. If you're not familiar, an affiliate link means that if you make a purchase through that link, I may receive a small commission. This does not affect my opinion on any of these companies or products. I have turned down a million different affiliate links because I did not like the services they were offering and I only affiliate myself with companies that I actually use and enjoy. However, if you don't feel comfortable with affiliate links, you don't have to click them. Long story short, none of these companies or creators have asked me to mention them. I am mentioning them because I like them and you might too. Number one, writing with color. Writing with Color is a Tumblr page that helps people write racial, ethnic, and religious diversity. The entire page is geared toward making sure your writing is accurate and inclusive. They give advice, they answer questions. They've got essays, book recommendations, guides, and a list of sensitivity readers. I don't care what you're writing, this page is a godsend. They have so many assets for writers. For example, if you're writing characters of color and you're not a person of color yourself, you can check Writing with Color and they will let you know if you are repeating any harmful stereotypes or if you're describing your characters in an offensive manner. They've got guides to writing skin color, to problematic portrayals of religion. They are so valuable. Bookmark them. Writing with Color is absolutely free to use. However, they do accept donations to help support their mods and I encourage you to donate. Honestly, if you're a writer and you don't have Writing with Color bookmarked, you should. Number two, the Otter app. There are a million writers out there who for some reason or another, whether it's physical injury or vision impairment or some other reason, they cannot physically write their novels. In this situation, the Otter app is a huge help. It's essentially a voice to text app. It transcribes the manuscript for you. It allows you to search the document. It provides playback and you can highlight and add comments. This is extremely useful if you're working on a story, but you can't physically type it out. There are pay for versions of the Otter app. However, in my opinion, the basic platform is all you need if you're writing a novel and that platform is completely free. In my opinion, there's no need to upgrade. Number three, Edit Out Loud. Edit Out Loud is a super easy app where you can upload 
upload your Word document, listen to it on your phone, and then text or speak comments throughout the document. It's that simple. Basically, you can listen to your work in progress while you're walking the dog, while you are doing chores or running errands, and you can leave comments along the way letting you know where you've screwed up. In my opinion, this is the perfect app for any writer who's also a multitasker or anyone who needs to listen to their manuscript out loud, which, let's be real, is all writers. Edit Out Loud also has a beta listener program where you can link your document to beta listeners and they can listen along and give you feedback. I have an affiliate link for this program listed below and it gives you one week free of their premium membership. However, if you wanna test it out, which is 100% fair, you can use their basic platform and that is completely free. It's easy to use, I'm a fan, so dabble as you please. Number four, Romance Your Brand by Zoe York. This is a very short, but very effective book all about how to write a genre series. There are a lot of writing craft books on the market, but what I like about this one specifically is it's not basic writing advice. It's specifically about how to write a marketable genre series. That means a series that'll sell. It gives you tips for taking the story you wanna tell, the story you're passionate about, and telling it in a way that'll best appeal to your target audience. Then it helps you take that idea you're passionate about and expand it into eight or more books, which means more money. This book is especially helpful for romance writers because the author is a bestseller in romance. However, if you're writing any kind of genre fiction, it'll help a lot. It's a super quick, strategically written read, and even better, you can read it for as little as 99 cents. Number five, Anatomy of Prose and Other Works by Sasha Black. I'm very skeptical of writing craft books overall because half the time they're either basically glorified self-help books or autobiographies. You either just get the writer's life story, like I give a shit, or you get some pep talk. You can do it, rah, rah, rah. I know I can do it. I just want to learn about metaphors, goddammit. This is why I recommend Anatomy of Prose by Sasha Black because it's one of the only writing craft books I've read that actually gives solid, usable writing advice. This this book is packed with information about how to improve your writing, how to differentiate between analogies and metaphors, how to improve your pacing and descriptions. I also enjoy this book because Sasha Black is hysterical. She takes a topic that's usually pretty boring and she litters it with F-bombs and dick jokes. And you know me, I love a dick joke. Sasha also has a multitude of other writing craft books. She has one all about how to write effective heroes, one about how to write super bad villains, and she just released another book all about how to write compelling side characters. I'm about halfway through reading that one and it is fantastic. And even better, you can get her writing craft books for anywhere between $2.99 and $12.99, which is a great deal considering how much information you're getting. Number six, Novel Pad. This is for folks who want a writing program specifically geared toward novelists. I've tried a handful of similar platforms. I'm sure you can think of a few that are very popular. I hated them. They were glitchy and cluttered with so many features I never wanted and none of the features that I actually do want. But Novel Pad is the exception in my opinion. It's got a clean setup, which is so important to me. I hate busy setups, they aggravate me. It has different viewpoints for how you can view your novel, either based on a character perspective, by scenes or chapters, even by settings, subplots, or plot points. You can also color code different characters or plot points for tracking purposes. They're also integrated with Pro Writing Aid, so you have access to Pro Writing Aid's spelling and grammar features. Again, I have an affiliate link with NovelPad that gives you a free 14-day trial, no credit card required, but if you decide to continue with the platform, it's super affordable. It's only five bucks a month if you choose the annual subscription or eight bucks a month if you go monthly. Which brings us to number seven, Pro Writing Aid. This is for everyone who sucks at grammar, syntax, and punctuation, which let's be real, is most of the writing community. Pro Writing Aid is not just a grammar and spell checker. It also offers assistance with style and flow, and it is specifically designed to help you grow and improve as you use their program. That's why I personally prefer them over other competitors, there are different programs that will check your spelling and grammar, point out your mistakes, whoop de fucking do Pro Writing Aid tells you why it's a mistake and teaches you how to fix it, either through articles, videos, quizzes, and more. Its annual subscription is also super cheap for just $6.58 a month. Number eight. Milanote. I know Milanote sponsors me from time to time, but I cannot make this video without mentioning them because I literally use this program 
every single day. Millinote is a brainstorming platform. It's kind of like a blank poster board where you can jumble around all your ideas and organize them either into webs or lists or whatever the fuck you please. This is why I use it every day and I definitely, without a doubt, recommend it for writers. I have a Millinote board for organizing my current work in progress, The Savior's Army. This includes characters, plot points, outlines, maps, uh, setting, world building, and so on. I've got a board for plotting stories. I've got a board for organizing different short stories. And I have boards for business, like organizing my YouTube content, my channel optimization, and my newsletter. It just makes the writing process and the overall writer life so much easier. They have ready-made templates, or you can create your own layout based on what you specifically need. That's what I like about it. It's super flexible, and I'm a control freak. I like to do exactly what I want to do. Like I said, I use this platform every day and have gotten everyone in my writing group addicted to it. There's a pro version that gives you access to unlimited notes for $9.99 a month. However, their basic version gives you access to up to 100 notes and it is completely free. Number nine, Ink Carnate. This is for all you world builders out there. If you are writing fantasy, sci-fi, or dystopian and you're creating a brand new world, chances are at some point you're going to need to draw a map. For this purpose, I recommend Incarnate which is a map making platform. I've used it to draw my map of Thessin as well as all of the ally realms for the Savior's army. Tobias and Layla are going to be doing a lot of traveling so I need to be able to map their route so I can make sure the climate in the story is matching where they're headed. I will say that if you plan to include the map in the published book itself as some kind of art material, I would recommend hiring a professional artist for that particular map. I honestly don't know if there would be any legal or copyright infringement by using an incarnate map within your published book. You gotta research that yourself. I specifically recommend using incarnate for creating a map that you can reference throughout the writing process. Something that's gonna keep you on track while you are building your world. Incarnate has a pro plan that's $25 a year. However, I'm gonna be honest, the free plan has every feature that I need. You don't gotta spend money on this platform, save it for the professional edit. And Number 10, sensitivity readers. A sensitivity reader is someone hired specifically looking for sensitive issues within your book. I don't mean content that tugs at your heartstrings. I mean cultural inaccuracies and misrepresentation regarding race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, disability, and so on. Basically, it's their job to help make sure you don't make an ass of yourself by accidentally publishing something bigoted. They help you create a more inclusive and accurate portrayal. Having a sensitivity reader is an asset to all writers but it's especially helpful for writers who are writing about a marginalized group they themselves do not belong to. Even if you consider yourself a very woke human being, we all make mistakes, we all have internalized biases, and sometimes we're just ignorant to shit we didn't realize was an issue. That's why I recommend sensitivity readers to all writers. They are here to help you. I personally have worked with two sensitivity readers and I recommend them both so, so highly. My sensitivity readers are Sam Casse, who focuses on racism, black culture, and LGBTQIA plus content, as well as many other things. And Iona Wayland, who focuses on mental illness, trauma, and multiracial experiences among many other things. These women are amazing and between their critique and sensitivity services, you're looking at rates ranging from 30 to $300. I know this may sound pricey, but considering the service they're provided, it's a deal. Plus a sensitivity read tends to be one of, if not the cheapest step of the editing process. So that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Wednesdays and if you wanna be alerted as soon as I upload, ring that bell. The Savior's Champion and the Savior's Sister are available in ebook, paperback, hardback, and audiobook right now. They're available all over the place. So if you want to check out my number one best-selling dark fantasy romance series, get on it. I got them linked below. And be sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, and BookBub. And of course, you can tweet me at Jenna Moresi. Bye! This is Musumi. Per orders, you must subscribe to Jenna's channel and ring that bell. Your sovereign commands it. Any deviation from his word will be penalized harshly, so if you know what's good for you, subscribe.